In some ways, women are doing better today than they were during the World War II or the baby boom generation, but overall, there are areas in which progress has stalled and that has brought overall well-being down. Well-being for women of the millennial generation has actually declined relative to the prior generation. We sat down and looked at, at the research that has been done on, on women's well-being and, and most of the work that's being done seems to be comparing women versus men. There's been less work done uh, comparing how women today are faring relative to their mother's generation, their grandmother's generation. The idea was to select some key indicators of well-being for women. So we have 14 different measures and then we take all of those measures and we kind of lump them together into one aggregate index of women's well-being. Women of the baby boom did about 66% better based on our index method relative to women of the World War II generation. Women of Gen X did about 2% better than women of the baby boom, and then women of the millennial generation actually did 1% worse. There are lots of ways in which women are doing better than they were. So women are better educated today. The homicide rate among women today is about half of what it was for the World War II and baby boom generations. They've uh, been closing the gender wage gap, although there is still a substantial divide there. But there are lots of other ways in which women are not doing as well. The poverty rate for women of the millennial generation is higher than any of the three preceding generations. Women actually have to earn an extra degree in order to have the same earnings as their male counterparts. The incarceration rate for women is 10 times higher today than it was during the World War II generation. And we've seen some pretty shocking uh, increases in the maternal mortality rate and more recently in the suicide rates. If things don't change, the next generation may be even more disadvantaged than the generation of young women is today. And that's a real cause for concern. We really need to start paying attention to how both teens and young adults are doing. If we don't make sure that they succeed, all of these problems are going to persist into the next generation. What I really hope is that people will read this report and understand that things are moving in the wrong direction and they can be fixed.